Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We thank and praise God for another chance for us to gather in this uh, segment of uh, wisdom and wonder in God's word uh, on this 29th day of December in the year of our Lord, 2021. Amen. We gather thanking God because he brought us a long way all through this year, the year before all the days of our lives and we thank him also because as close as we are to 2022 only the lord knows his will for who will be alive to see it but we thank him for this day and we say as he has taught us our lord has taught us to pray give us this day our daily bread i greet you all uh people of god in the sufficiently strong name of jesus the christ let's go before him in prayer Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful day. It's beautiful because it is the day you have made. Hallelujah. And we rejoice and we're glad in it. Oh, God, thank you for teaching us, Lord, to just keep our eyes on you for all things. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the grace and the mercies you've extended toward us day by day, all the days of our lives. And accordingly, we are able to be here today. Thank you for how you covered our minds when we would have lost our minds, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for how you just touched our bodies and encouraged our spirits to keep on keeping on in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for where you brought us and thank you for your plans for where you will take us in Jesus' name. Oh, God, I thank you for everybody who will gather in this uh, forum today. I pray that we will come rejoicing, Lord. I pray that uh, those who find it worthwhile, we'll share it, we'll bless you, we'll celebrate it, Lord, we'll affirm what is good, uh, and and we offer all the glory and the honor out of it to you and to you alone. We're believing, Lord, for spirits to be healed, for souls to be healed, Lord, uh, for, for new directions uh, in the name of Jesus. We yield it all to you, God, for your glory. Be glorified now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God for all who are here. Praise the Lord. Pray that the Christmas uh, was a blessed time of sharing. Amen. Just being with loved ones, being able to um, be a lot, be lots like God uh, by giving, because God so loved that he gave, and he gave his very best. Uh, because that's what, what was needed for us. And so uh, we pray that the, the season of, Christ of Christmas has been a season of uh, celebrating um, not what we've been able to get, but what we've been able to bless to give. Amen. And anticipation of a new year, we just thank God for his keeping power. Yield ourselves. He's the potter. We are the clay. Glory to God. Amen. Ask him to make us and mold us even again for the work that's before us. Amen. Bless the Lord as I sought the Lord and prayed and and just uh, sought to know what he would have shared today. Amen. I uh, am led um, to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Major prophet. Isaiah. Uh, chapter 43. And verses 1 through 4. Isaiah chapter 43 and verses 1 through 4. Again, Isaiah chapter 43 verses 1 through 4. And we're gathering our thoughts around uh, these words today. Accepted and valuable. Accepted and valuable. Amen. Accepted and valuable. Amen. The word of God reads, Isaiah 43, 1 through 4 reads, But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, 
they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore I will give men for thee, and people for thy life. The magnitude of the love of God, glory to God, the magnitude of the love of God for us is expressed in uh, this writing he sent through the apostle, through the, uh, the, the prophet Isaiah, amen. Uh, and, and, and God is saying in him is salvation, amen. And for us Christians, that's, there's no contradiction because Jesus who came in the flesh was Jesus the Christ, the anointed one, God himself, amen. And in him came salvation. Glory to God. So I'm just thanking and praising God today for this passage that reminds us as children of God, amen, that we are accepted and we are valuable. Amen. It, it, now, you know, when, when, when the Lord sent this word through Isaiah, uh, he noted Israel and he noted Jacob. Amen. Uh, and he said, and, and these Folk have made lots of errors, lots of bad calls, lots of missteps. Amen. But but uh, they repented, uh, they lamented their wrong, they sought um, to be identified even with God again. Amen. And uh, so this speaks not so much of their worth, but of the grace of God and of the mercy of God, and how God had plans for them, even when they didn't always measure up. Amen. And us, we saints of the Most High God really need to be celebrating that. He doesn't scrap his plans even when we don't measure up. Amen. As long as we don't defy him by denying who he is, denying his reality, denying his power, amen, he doesn't scrap us. He doesn't eliminate us. Uh, when we, even when we don't measure up. Amen. So if you haven't found anything else to praise God for today, praise him for that. Glory to God. He didn't scrap me. He didn't, he didn't throw me. He didn't eliminate me. Amen. When I fell short. Amen. When, when I uh, made him ashamed, when I made myself ashamed, he, he didn't scrap me. He didn't, he didn't eliminate me from being a child of his or from doing work for him. Amen. That's a good praise point right there. Amen. Sometimes we, we seem to praise God. Uh, our praise seems to be predicated on how good we are. That's really not praising God. That's not worshiping God. Amen. Amen. The, the worship of God means we speak of the worth of God, not of our worth. Amen. Amen. The word, word of God teaches us that all of our righteousness is as filthy rags before the Lord. Amen. So when I'm at my very best, there's still this big gulf. Glory to God. There's still this big gulf between my righteousness and the absolute perfection in God. And it's only the grace of God that causes that chasm to be bridged. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, saints, we got so much. We can, we ought to be praising and thanking God all day, every day. Amen. Even on days when things may not be just the way we are. Maybe somebody's feeling out of sorts in their body today. Maybe, amen, the, the enemy is attacking somebody through their mind today. Amen. Maybe, maybe somebody's finances are in disarray today, or there's a relationship that, that seems to be uh, doomed today. I'm telling you, Wherever you find yourself, 
Amen. We still have lots of things that cause us to, that will cause us to give God praise. Amen. This passage I love. I love because it just speaks. It encourages. It 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 gives us the 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 ability to, to see how He sees us. Glory to God. It gives us the ability to 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 apprehend how He assesses us. Glory to God. Amen. Grace and mercy have to be a active for him to find us acceptable, for him to find us desirable, for him to want us. Glory to God. Grace and mercy have to be accessible. Amen. They have to be. In the absence of grace and mercy, not one of us could stand before the Lord acceptable. Not one of us. Not one of us. Glory to God. But hear this word, accepted and valuable. That's how uh, the Lord wants me and you to see ourselves today. This is what he is saying to us, about us, from his perspective. Amen? This is what he is saying to us, about us, from his perspective. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Uh, the Lord lets, lets them and us know at the outset, I'm the only one who has the rank and the right to assess you. I am the only one who has the rank I formed you. I created you. And the right to assess you. And then he goes on to speak life and to, to speak encouragement. Hallelujah. He says, fear not. I see. Oh my. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. Fear not. I speak this in my spirit. I speak it in your spirit. Hear the voice of God saying to me and you, fear not. Fear not. Don't let your faith get overcome, be overcome by the spirit of fear. Fear not. I have redeemed thee. Nobody redeemed us but the Lord, God, through Jesus Christ. Nobody else. He might have used folk to help us along the way, but they didn't redeem us. One price was paid through his son, our Savior. Glory to God. I have called thee by thy name. Hallelujah. No matter how many people have the same name, he knows when he's calling me. And I know when he's calling me. I've called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. <laughs> Man, that's ownership. He looks at me and you. He, he doesn't um, not see who we really are. He doesn't not see our bloopers. He doesn't not see our mess ups. He doesn't not see our failings. He does not see our faltering. He sees all of that. But he applies grace and mercy and he says, I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Hallelujah. Hug yourself and tell yourself, I belong to God. Amen. How do you know you belong? to? Because he told me so. He said, I am his. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That's right. He, he knows. He does know your name. And mine. Yes, he does. When thou passest through the waters, then he starts talking about these conditions, these situations that may prevail in our lives from time to time. Amen. These conditions, these situations that may come upon us from time to time. He says, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Glory to God. 
when you go through a transition, I will be with thee. When you go through a transformation, I will be with thee. Passing through the waters means I'm not coming out like I went in. When it seems like the waters will overtake me, he says, I'll be with thee. When my footing is unsure as I make it through the waters, he says, I will be with thee. Hallelujah. Ah. He says, I will be with thee. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Now, that's good news for a non-swimmer like me. <laughs> he says, when you go through stuff, even when it seems like it's going to run over your head, you, you, your head may go under, but it's not going to stay under. He says, it's not going to overflow. It's not going to sweep you away. You know, when we get in, in intimidating situations and circumstances, and when the enemy thinks that he has our ear and he can speak, the negativism and he can speak the failure and he can speak uh things that 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 trouble us amen sometimes he he seeks to take our focus at all times he seems to take our focus from the power of god to the power of the situation and here we have god who created the waters who created the rivers saying they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through fire, through hot stuff, through uh, painful things, through disconcerting things, through things that make you wonder what's wrong with you and what's right with everybody else, through things that affect your self-image, your self-esteem, Make you wonder if life is worth living. Hallelujah. Makes you want to give up sometimes. When you walk through the fire, the trials, the tribulations, the temptations, when you walk through the fire, hallelujah. Man, it's hard to keep on reading, but I'm going to keep on reading. Thou shalt not be burned. He said it's when we walk through the fire, where we ought to be burned, where our clothes ought to be singed, where our hair ought to be singed, where we ought to come out smelling smoky, he says, thou shalt not be burned. Hallelujah. Oh, man, who is this word for other than me today? I know it's for me, but I know it's for more than me. Oh, my God. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle against thee. Now, what might that mean? I think if there's a fire, I can really fuel the fire. The fire can get bigger if I get in it. And he says, Neither shall the flame kindle against me. The fire that I ought fuel will not cause a flame to come against me. My God. Oh, man. Shout now or shout later, but somebody needs to shout. Glory to God. It shall not. The flame shall, uh, shall not kindle against me. Amen. If you've seen in movies or other places, somebody's thrown into a fire, then all of a sudden the fire starts consuming them and their, their body then becomes fuel for the fire. He says, no, 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 no. Not y'all. Because you are accepted and you are valuable to me. You are accepted and you are valuable to me. You aren't so shrewd. You aren't such a shrewd operator. You aren't such, such a smooth mover. My grace and my mercy, running interference, giving you what you don't deserve, holding back what you do deserve. That's how it happens. Glory to God. Ah. 
for I am the Lord thy God. He goes back and reminds us. He says in the beginning, I'm God who created you. He says again, for I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for thee. I caused whole kingdoms to go down so that you could come up. Think, think about it. How has the Lord still the enemy and the avenger in your life, in my life? When it, when it looked like folk had calculated for your demise, for your downfall, even if you contributed in some way because you were wrong, the hand of God Stabilize. And he said, look, I gave up something to get you. I gave Ethiopia, I gave Seba, and I gave Egypt. I gave them for you. Oh, man. He was telling them you were bought with a price. For us, he gave Jesus. Glory to God. Glory. Hey, see, oh, my. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He gave Jesus. I was ransomed. Since thou wast precious in my sight. You're precious to me. I accept you. Flaws. Imperfections. One leg longer than the other. One eye open. One eye closed. Little imperfections nobody knows about but you. Hallelujah. That's the wonder now. That's, uh, that's another subject, but it, let me just do this as a sidebar. That's the wonder of adoption. When we have children naturally, we take whatever the Lord sends. When you adopt children, you see them. All the flaws, all the things, what's wrong, what ain't right, what is not... It, and and you and and for somebody to still say I want you, give me that one. Well, you see that, 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 that? Yep, but give me that one right there. That's what God said of us. Hallelujah. Well, I want that one right there. I know. I know his flaws. I made him. I put him together. I know his shortcomings. But I want him. He's mine. Since thou was precious in my sight, and thou hast been honorable or valuable, you represent me. For know you belong to me. It's, you're valuable because when people see you, they see a representative of my kingdom. Now, it's kind of rough when people can see somebody and, and don't know to whose kingdom they belong. So we may have uh, lapses, we may have um, fall downs, but I thank, I thank God that he wants us. Yes, he does, sisters, brothers, sons, daughters, mothers, fathers, God wants us. He says, since thou was precious in my sight, you were accepted, I accepted you. Thou hast been honorable. You didn't do every absolute thing right. But you, st you stood for me and people knew you belonged to me. So you're valuable. It's valuable for in the earth realm for people to know whose side you're on. And I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for thy life. Hallelujah. And so we respond by thanking God for the grace and the mercy and committing ourselves in spite of um, any failures or flaws or shortcomings, committing ourselves day by day by day 
day by day by day. We renew this thing boldly every day. We cannot stand in the present and, and remember the day and remember the hour when we got, yeah, remember that. But, but just remembering that is not going to empower us to live this thing out today. I need to remember that. But I need to affirm today that I'm going to trust in the Lord until I die. I need to affirm today that I want Jesus to walk with me today. In so doing, I affirm that he finds me and he finds you accepted. And to him, we are valuable. Saints, I pray that this speaks to your spirit. I pray that you're looking up. I pray that you've decided you're releasing some stuff. You release you, some drama, some trauma, some scars, some whatever. I pray that the Holy Ghost will allow you right now to allow these things to have zero value. You can remember them, but they don't, they don't trap you anymore. They don't steal your joy anymore. They have zero value. Thank you, Jesus. Accepting and affirming the grace and the mercies we receive from the Lord also puts us in position to walk in grace and mercy toward others. Thank you, Lord. We're accepted and we're valuable. Oh, yeah, you are. Yes, you are. If you're not feeling it, then all I'm going to tell you is you just tell your feelings, y'all need, need to catch up with my spirit. Because in my spirit, I know I'm accepted and I know I'm valuable. So feelings, all that soulish stuff, you got to play catch up. Come on up here where I am. <laughs> Glory to God. God bless you, saints. The Lord loves you. I love you. Walk in this truth. Walk in this truth. Read it and reread it. Memorize it. Be able to speak it to yourself. Isaiah. 43, 1 through 4. Hallelujah. I'll just close by reading verse 2 again. When thou passest through the waters, saints, Almighty God says, I will be with thee. I see, Marisha. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, Thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Glory to God. Oh, God bless your children. God bless your children of God. I love the Lord. I love all of y'all. All of y'all. Be blessed of the Lord. I desire the prayers of the righteous. Just pray my strength in the Lord. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day, Lord. With our hands lifted up and our hearts filled with praise, we just thank you, God, that you being so great and so awesome, so mighty, sovereign in your rule, none like you, God, that you love us so, that you call us your own and you, you protect us, you insulate us, you give us time to recover when we've fallen down. Oh, we thank you today, God. Oh, God, I pray your blessings on every hearer of this word today. That this word will, will be uh, an indelible part of their heart. That they can call it back up. Speak this life to themselves. To ourselves. pray for those deranged in the mind, deranged in the souls, deranged in our spirit, their spirits. I pray for a calmness and a peace that passes all understanding. Thank you for the assurance that with you we can make it. 
Thank you for this time of sharing. Bless all who have joined, those who will perhaps listen to it later on. Oh God, the power of your word will remain on this session, in this broadcast, whenever one might listen to it. Be glorified. Pray for the elders, Lord, and I pray for the little babies, everybody in between. Help us to remember, Lord, that time is passing. And eventually, we too must pass from time and face eternity. We, may we be fit when you call our names. May we know Jesus Christ as our personal Savior. May we walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you, saints. I love you. I love you. I love you. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another.